Hi guys, it's Amy. Your golf coach. When I start giving driver lessons, a lot of amateurs tend to ask, how do we hinge for the driver? Do we hinge the same way as the irons? Hinging is very important because it gets the club that traveling square on plane and also you can create a lot of club speed with less effort, helping you to hit the golf ball long and straight, right? So today I'm going to explain how to hinge with your driver and show you an amified drill. means making golf simple, fun, and effective. Now, back to the golf lesson. When you start hinging for the driver, the very important position you need to pay attention to is the eight o'clock position. If this is a clock, 12 o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, when the left arm is pointing at eight o'clock, boom, here, the club is parallel to the round and parallel to the target. Let's check out the club head and the hands right here. They're, they're about level, right? But in this position, if your eight o'clock looks like this, where the club head is a lot lower than the hands, you need to work on your hinging. This is poor hinge right here. If you go really under this way, as you can see from the side view, that the club head is already traveling under the plane. And at the top of the backswing, it's not going to complete setting the rhythm is going to be very inconsistent from shot to shot and also when you're not able to complete the setting correctly sometimes you lose your lag really early so you're losing accuracy and distance at the same time and we don't want that combination right in order to hinge ball a lot of people say well this is a very long club the swing is a lot bigger and it's heavier in your hands so it feels like you're hinging later and less so am I supposed to put a lot of pressure in my grip to try and help it hinge or am I supposed to relax my hands and maybe just give up on some hinging but my answer would be you can relax your hands but hinge a lot at the same time let me show you how so it's a split grip drill you're gonna grip it this way so the left hand is on the butt end of the grip and the right hand is at the bottom of the grip so you're not gonna hit golf balls this way it's going to be up in the air pretend like you're doing this in your living room so there's a wall to your right side and a ceiling above your head let's keep that in mind so you're going to push to get your takeaway going you're going to push with your left palm down on the butt end of the grip so it goes like this boom so you're pushing on the butt end of the grip boom just straight back angle same as that alignment stick right there it goes straight back pushing it down for those of you who are this way club head below your hands we have to super exaggerate to fix just tiny little bit that's why we are exaggerating the club head position here from down the line you can tell the club head is way above the line of the plane as well so we are also exaggerating that under the plane we had before hinging the wrists so you're pushing and exaggerating the head position. And then the second push, you're gonna get into your half swing. You're gonna push your left palm to the wall right of you. So you push the wall and you see the 90 degree angle. This is an exaggerated hinge position for the driver. Usually for the driver, about this much would be kind of common um, hinging amount for the half swing, but we're super exaggerating, guys. And then from here, to complete the hinge, we're gonna push one more time to the corner of the ceiling and the wall, boom and your hinging is finished and you feel that club resting in your trail index hand and that goes along with my core deck swing theory uh, but we won't get into that today because we're focusing on the hinging right so three pushes and resting it in the index goes like this again push 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 and rest it in your index. I achieved my hinging without any pressure in my grip because all I was doing was just pushing down on the grip bit and the hinging was happening by itself, right? Magic. <laughs> okay, so when you start changing your backswing and hinging looks fantastic, now the dowsing has to adjust according to the new backswing. Because earlier I mentioned if you hinge late now, you're going to lose a lot of lag angle on the way down. If you hinge well and still have the same old downswing now you're going to hit it everywhere again so we have to work on the leg and the follow through as well so let me give you like two bonus movements let's get into the split grip again you're gonna push three times push push 
push just like that so easy rest it in your index and you're gonna maintain that leg leg but when we start working on the leg a lot of amateurs actually don't know exactly how to release the club and end up like shanking it through so i got to get you in the release position as well so it goes push 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 support in the index leg and then point the toe right of the target you see that toe pointing right of the target if you go push 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 rest leg and then if you go in this way the toe is pointing that way and now you're gonna shank it or slice it so push 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 rest leg and then release i want you to do this movement a lot so you get really comfortable hinging without much pressure and also achieve the leg and the release as well so let's go ahead and hit the golf ball using this right Push, 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 rest, leg, release. Oh, that was really good. <laughs> So today I showed you how to hinge your driver with less effort in your grip with a very simple Amy Fight split grip drill. And I gave you two bonus movements as well to achieve lag and release um, in the downswing. So I hope you're able to follow along. If you're able to get your hinging going, then your club is going to start traveling on plane with a square club face going to make your life a lot easier. So you can hit the driver long and straight off the tee. If you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Love communicating with you. That's what keeps me going with these videos, right? So leave your questions down below or you can come to my website to ask Amy section. Leave your questions and comments there. I usually handle those before anywhere else. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one. Mwah.